morning, everyone. Oh, this is my first iced coffee in months. I drink iced tea on a regular, but when the weather starts to cool down, for some reason I can continue drinking iced tea even if it's negative 87 degrees outside. But coffee, cold coffee is a no-no. But today it is warm. I mean, I wish you could see me right now. I'm wearing little teeny tiny booty shorts in January but it's because I live in the desert. I mean, perks of living in the desert, right? Well, you'll be hearing me complain when it's 120, so just let me have this moment for those of you who are freezing your butts off right now. Anyway, coffee, look at this delicious, creamy goodness. Mmm. All right, so what's the plan for today? I don't wanna to talk too much, says the girl who can never shut up. But the plan for today is fairly simple. I'm in full on production mode. I have a planner now and I have been doing so well adhering to that planner. Granted, I've only been using it for about a week, but listen, I have been on top of it. So on the schedule for today, I have something that you guys have never seen before. Well, no, that's not true. You've seen me illustrate landscapes in my work previously, but just a full on landscape by itself you have not seen. I was contacted by someone about um, submitting a surrealistic dreamscape for their children's book, just one page. From what I understand, they are requesting different artists do different pages, so I thought, sure, that'll be fun, so I'll go ahead and do that. So I have to uh, do any cleaning up that needs to be done on this. I think we're actually pretty good to go on it, but I wanted to give you a look at it. As you can see, it's a... Um, I suppose you can call this a surreal desert scape, space scape. I don't know what you'd call it, but check it out. There are some holes in it. So I, I'm considering these to be kind of just negative space, black holes. I don't know. I don't know. In the midst of all of this color, there are just these ominous black shapes. Who knows what it is? It's a surrealistic landscape, all right? I don't have to explain it. So first, pardon that, that was my toaster oven. So aside from that, I also have to scan and clean up some work for my brand Cat Eyes and Cacti. If you don't know what Cat Eyes and Cacti is, I illustrate mid-century modern inspired cats and tiki's and houses. And so this is a new batch that I worked on over the weekend. So I need to scan all of these little kitty cats, clean them up, package them up, and put them away in my storage closet. And then coming up next, I have to scan and clean up and possibly add to my Etsy store today. I do need to do a shop update. So maybe I won't add her to the store today, but I do have to update other items in the shop. But this is my first official illustration of 2020. Just a little cute thing, you know how I do. She's got big hair, cute eyelashes and liner. She's just, she's the business, right? I like her, she's cute. The very first appearance of a Ralph up in her hair. So she needs to get scanned and all of that good stuff. And finally, 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 the big baby that has been looming over my life for a decade. So inking is going to begin on this. Once again, I fell behind on this, not because I'm being lazy, not because I couldn't prioritize, but because I'm stuck on making sure that this damn thing gets done correctly this time. This book has been drawn, it has been inked, it has been completed. Three times, hated every single one of them. No mas, this is it, come what may, whether it's perfect or not, it doesn't matter, she's getting done. But here's the thing, here's the thing. I was settled down and ready to work, right? This was, what, late summer of last year? Ready to work, and then I started researching comic book inking. No, let me move this coffee before I spill it and then we're gonna have a nightmare on our hands. So I've been researching techniques and for the entirety of my quote unquote artistic career, 
um, I'm just going to use career lightly. Um, I have been convinced that micron pens were the way to go. Microns or Copic multiliners, anything that's going to be a standard inky pen like this. I thought this is the way to go. This is absolutely what I'm going to use. And then I started noticing that a lot of the artwork ink, the let me rephrase that, that a lot of the line art, the line work, the line style that I enjoy looking at from old school comics is achieved through the use of a crow quill pen. That is a dip pen. Oh my God. So that threw me for a loop. And now I'm thinking, shoot, should I run down to the art store and purchase a crow quill and some ink and jump into it and start inking that way? Maybe I should hold off until I decide to do that. Well, to prevent any further hiccups, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink the entire first issue in my cron pens possibly the second and third issues too. And in the meantime, I'm going to be practicing in my sketchbooks with a crow quill to develop a comic book style. So maybe the first, you know, maybe I'll even do the first six issues, right? I don't know. The first few issues are going to be inked with a micron pen and then I may jump to a crow quill because I know that if I start inking with a crow quill, um, disaster could happen and I may make a mess and it might delay me for another, you know, 10 years and I won't get the book done. But here are the first three pages. I need to stop talking. I want to ink two of them today. I don't plan on getting all three of them done, but I would like two of them at least to get done today. So that's the plan. Comic book, landscape, deal with this gal and deal with all of my cat eyes and cacti kitty children. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the day. Lest anyone think I'm being fancy, making fancy homemade lattes. Oh, hey, you want to say hi to Ralph? He's living here temporarily while I'm working on my dining table. I have my art table set up over there on my dining table, so there's no room. So he's living here with the bananas and the flowers. All right. This is what I do in the morning, if you're curious. I come over here, I make my coffee, I prepare it. And then I come into the incense drawer. Do you guys want to see my incense drawer? Drawer, I wasn't kidding. It goes all the way back and it's full of incense. Today, hmm, should we go for today? We're gonna go for this one. Sacred Ritual is a good one. updating my Etsy shop. I just finished updating some information, adding a couple of new macarons, and check this out. Woo! The sticker packs are, I believe, halfway sold out. Let's see, seven people have this in their cart. How many do I have left, though? I have... Five of them left, so they are officially halfway sold out. So thanks, guys. I'm so happy that you enjoyed these stickers. Uh, there are five left, so, well, five sticker packs left. So if you'd like to go over there and grab one, you can do that. Uh, let's see, what did I add to the shop? So I added new macarons. So there are three macarons freshly listed in the shop. These are all of the ones that are currently available. Uh, there are a few more that need to get added <clears throat> eventually, but I won't release those until a few weeks down the road. But for now, this is what we have. I'm glad you guys are liking these, by the way. They're just so cute, bite-sized, and adorable. I love them. Uh, it almost makes me sad to see them go, but I'm glad that they've been going to a very good home. So thank you. All right, back to work.
Oh, this is going to be a long process. Page one is complete. And while I do like it, whew, I am in for a bloodbath because this took a long time. One down, 32-ish, 31, 32 to go. Oh my goodness. Wish me luck. Coupons, coupons, we all love a coupon. When they are actually worth it though, because if you shop with any regularity at places such as Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Fru Fru art supply stores, you know that coupons typically bring the price of the product down to what it should be. But that's besides the point. I had a good one today though, and I got my crow quill that I was harping about earlier saying, oh, I wanna learn how to use a crow quill in my comic, blah, blah, blah. Well, I found one and I got it for $4. So yay for that. And I have ink to waste with it as well. So I wasn't anticipating purchasing this today, but there was a Michaels right next to where I go purchase dog food. So it was forced upon me. The universe was telling me, girl, here's a 50% coupon. Wait, that, that did not work out the way I wanted to. Let's try that again. The universe said, girl, here's your 50% coupon. Go get your crow quill. So I did. Good morning, good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to attempt, I'm going to attempt to keep the yapping to a minimum during this portion because I have a busy, busy day, which is great. I have a boatload of day jobbing to do, which is fantastic because, listen, being able to pay my rent is great, is it not? Paying your bills and paying your rent is a good thing. So I have that to do for most of the day, for the first half of the day, I should say, and then for the second half of the day, Mm, I have lots of artwork that I need to do because I've been keeping my little planner over here. Where is it? It's over there on my desk. Well, I have a planner that I'm going to be showing you guys eventually. It's just, it's a planner, okay? It's not anything fancy like a bullet journal or any fancy planning, nothing like that. But that little booger is keeping me so accountable for what I'm doing and at what part of the day I'm doing it. There's just, there's no more powerful motivator than your own guilt at your perceived lack of productivity, right? Because there's a certain level of productivity that is generally acceptable, and then there's your own personal level, which is enormous, right? So I have a lot to get to today. Uh, first and foremost, of course, I need to take care of, oh, toast oven, excuse the toast oven. Um, I have to get to my adult responsibilities and my day job, and then I have to photograph these prints. I have lots of prints that I need to photograph. I mentioned those in my previous vlog. To then work on digitizing my coloring book. And, ooh, this is this is a time sucker. Mm. I need a coffee for this one. Just true story. Sometimes I will make coffee and I will leave it overnight in the refrigerator just so that it picks up that acidic, dark roast flavor. Mm. And then in the morning, it is potent. <laughs> But I have the comic book. Oh my God, you guys, this is such a time sucker. It takes forever to complete a page. And I'm not being precious with it. I have been working in a sketchy, looser style, but because these pages are so big and because there are so many details, excuse the dog, he's ripping up a paper bag. Uh, because there are so many little details and the pages are so large, it just takes forever. So I have done a couple of pages. We're two pages in, but look, we're two pages in and we're, what, 30 to go. So it's it's gonna be a little while, but um, let's go ahead and get on with it. Let's get on with the day because ooh, I already feel as though I'm falling behind. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, so let's get some of these, or not some of them, all of these prints photographed. But before I do that, I wanted to get a little peek at them so you can see. So some of these you might recognize from my stickers. I give away sticker freebies in packages and some of those stickers are of these prints. I had those stickers created right around the same time I made the print so I've had them for a while. Uh, here are some of the squares 
and some of the other ones. These all measure total eight by 10 and these measure eight by eight. So they're, they're good sizes. They're not huge, but they're not too small either. I was thinking about signing them all because I had released these prints years ago. I mean, goodness, how old is this painting? I don't know, super old. But this one was done on a navy blue mat, and I um, I did sign those in silver. So I'm going to have an option when you check out in the Etsy shop if you would like to have the prints signed or not. I just... I always prefer when the artists that I purchase artwork or books or prints from to sign my stuff, but I just, I never feel comfortable just assuming that people are going to want my scrawl on their items. So if you would, just when you check out, just make a little note in the comment bar or I don't know, I'll set it up somehow so that you can have the option. But all right, let's get to photographing because my light is disappearing. Damn the winter sun. Damn the winter sun. photographing. I don't know if I'm going to have to redo any of the photographs. I might because my lighting of course is awful. One day people, one day I will live somewhere that is not this dark. I just, I didn't anticipate it when I moved here. I did not think the lighting was going to be this terrible. But anyways, it just, ugh, lesson learned. Lesson learned for next time. Gigantic windows. But anyway, we are done. We are done with the photographs. It's really astounding to think how much time and effort I spent so long ago cutting mats. I learned how to cut mats and I have a big mat cutter and everything. The whole bit, I did it all. Purchased the mat board, had the prints professionally made and I cut every single mat myself and mounted all the prints in here. If you don't love what you're doing, what are you doing, right? Sometimes this art life is a lot of work. Actually, 99% of the time it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I hope you guys enjoy the prints. Stay tuned on my channel and on my social media. I'll be posting information on, on when they will be available. But for now, baby's got to eat. I'm starving. I'll see you later. Hello, my spicy little gumdrops. I was stepping out of the door and I thought, wait, 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 wait. I should take them along really quickly. I'm going to run some errands. Yes, excuse the feathers. This is my, today is hair washing day, but I have errands to run and I just need this filth out of my face hairdo so live with it i am going to run down to the art store because i ran out of erasers so i need to grab a couple of erasers and i am also on a quest to find water i have caught wind of what has to be the most hipster water in existence which i love hipsters you know i nine times out of ten if i'm not at home i'm at a coffee shop somewhere and i mean without hipsters i would have no coffee so I love them, and even though they're obnoxious. <laughs> so anytime I see something this hipsterish, I have to go seek it out. It's just water, but you'll see what I mean if I find it. And um, a friend of mine recently plugged in his first grown-up refrigerator. Now, he's a grown-ass man. He's just, it's a long story. He's just not an appliance person, so he's never had a refrigerator. And considering that he has a bit of an anti-hipster bone in him, I thought, I'm gonna go grab him some of this water. He's gonna hate me for it, but hopefully it'll give him a chuckle. I'll get a chuckle out of it anyway. How do people do this vlogging thing? My arm, it's been up for what, two seconds? And it is just 
Do you guys even want to see my face in more of my vlogs? I don't know, I'm just trying something new, but I'm gonna head out the door. Should I also be a proper vlogger and show you my OOTD, my OOTD, my outfit of the day? Do you wanna see my shoes? I'm wearing my Goldies today. I love them. All right, let's get the hell out of here. has been purchased I tried to reach into my bag to grab it and I don't see it so I'm wondering if I dropped it somehow did I drop it because I'm holding my phone like an idiot oh god vlogging I swear I wasn't made for this but we'll see it's probably in my purse somewhere but as I'm going to get water I'm going to show you guys the Palm Springs babies which they're actually kind of creepy because they don't have baby bodies, but they have baby heads. Here, can you see them? I'll show you. Look at this. Ew. It's ew, right? I'll put my hand through here. No, those are not baby bodies gross oh what have we here what have we here success is this not the most hipster thing you've ever seen <laughs> I love it I also purchased some other super hipster things this I mean come on bitches give me a break of course I bought this and this, which I'm looking forward to the most. It's flower water. It is actual flower water. Look at this. Linden flowers, saffron, lavender, chamomile, elderflower, lemon, verbena, sage, butterfly pea. Oh, this is going to taste like the bottom of a witch's cauldron, and I'm all about it. So here's my bounty. Four cans of liquid death. And my eraser, which God knows where it is. I still have to go through my things and find it. If I lost it, I'm going to be so pissed at myself. Hello, hello. So let's get this vlog all wrapped up and ready to go. I have so much work to do today, which is great. I have essentially the full weekend to get to work on the veritable scroll of work that I have to do. Do you see that chaos back there? That's my comic book. That's something else that I need to address this weekend. My art table, my God, it is a nightmare. I have pens, markers, coloring books, paper, just whoo, everything, the works. So what you see here looks relatively, relatively clean-ish, but no, 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 no. Looks can be deceiving. I, I have comic book pages right in front of me. I shouldn't have those here. Oh, no, 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 don't fall. Because I, of course, am drinking coffee, black coffee, one of my spoils from my hipster quest the other day. It is called Bitches Brew, which, I mean, yeah, it's a cheeky little name, but the reason I picked it up is, aside from it being a cheeky name, number one, it's a dark roast. I love dark roast, cold brew. I mean, I'm a dark roast, but uh, Bitches Brew. I'm assuming that it was named after the legendary Miles Davis album. I don't know. Who knows? I would like to think so. I haven't researched it, so I don't know. So yes, what did you see in my vlog? What did you see in my vlog? You saw, of course, little slices of life, and you saw progress on my coloring book, on the comic book. You saw me working on at least one new piece. There are several pieces that I currently have in the works, but I don't vlog all the time. So I don't think you saw more than one, if any. And I also dealt with, or at least started to deal with the print situation. 
the prints. What am I going to do with the prints? I don't know. I know that I want to put them up for sale, but it's just, it's a big old thing. I don't know why it's turning into a big production. Perhaps it's because it's me and when am I not a production, right? Is that what it is? Is it just me overthinking and just being weird about it? Who knows? But in any case, I have so much that I need to do today. So thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate it. Feel free to stalk me. Put your little eyes down below. Everything you need to know will be down below. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already so that you can join me here on YouTube. If you would like a little bit more of me, join me on social media. I suppose that's all I have to say. I'm going to stop talking now, wrap this up so that I can get to work. I'm actually chomping at the bit to get to work because I have this. This bad boy keeping me accountable for everything now. This is a planner and it, isn't it pretty though? How me is this planner? Black and gold and ugh, I have, look at this. Keeping my behind accountable. It's working. It's interesting how this inanimate object keeps me more on track than I can keep myself on track. It's a little spooky, but I mean, how me? How me is this? Black and gold, black and gold. Oh! And to top it all off, my fragrance today, which is a little uncharacteristic for me because I'm not a apricot peach type of... I love to eat apricots and peaches. They're my favorite fruit, but to smell, I don't like synthetic fragrances, but I'm wearing Fame by the one and only Ms. Gaga, and it is black, although it's not really black. It's a really dark, dark, deep red burgundy liquid, but black and gold. How very me. You know what? It may not be me, but fragrance lover. So that's going to do it <laughs> right in my mouth. God damn it. And I've got, can you see my incense back there? My candle. I'm just, whoo fumigating myself. So I'm going to take off now. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys again in the next one. Again, hit that button. Join me on social media. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And I hope that you are looking forward to my next video. I do have plenty of videos in the works or at least planned and in my planner to be in the works soon. For my coloring book enthusiasts, I will be returning to coloring books next month. I simply needed to take a little bit of a break because I have so many other projects that require my attention at the moment and I feel as though I spent the majority of last year focusing on doing the coloring book videos and I just, I need a break, you know, it's just one of those things where I need to take a little bit of a break and I've taken, what, about a month and a half away from the coloring videos, so they'll come back, I promise you. If you've been waiting for them, no, I have not abandoned you. They will be returning in February. So, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where's, where's that hook? Where's that hook? that you need that people use on stage in cartoons to pull people off stage. I'm going off stage now. Goodbye, end scene. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for the puppy kissers.